was a short man in stature. Uh, didn't have a very long swing by uh, those days standards for sure because most of the swings in those days were long and wristy. He was more of a shorter compact swing. Gene Saracen was Gary Player before Gary Player was Gary Player. He was small. He was playing against bigger guys and, and he, he played some magnificent golf using every ounce of his fiber. Uh, his golf swing was, was, was very aggressive. It was uh, kind of compact. But he went ahead and followed through with his right foot and, and, and did whatever he could to hit the ball far enough to be able to play in his day. Sarazen, to me, had a very short swing for the times. Uh, most of those old players had these long, wristy swings, and Sarazen was a short, compact swing, generated a lot of speed with his body, which was a little unusual in those days, too, because everybody did everything with his hands. He turned his shoulders as much as he could. He used his wrists as much as he could. He fired his legs as much as he could because if he didn't, he didn't have enough, uh, you know, in the gas tank to, to compete with the players that, that he was having to compete against. He just wasn't big enough. Very authoritative. All, all his shots, there was an authority in the strike, which again, uh, you, you see with so many great players, but, but uh, there was a smoothness about Sneed. There was an authority about Gene Sarazen, a real definite thing. Well, his golf swing, you see, was built with hickory-shafted golf clubs, so it's an entirely different, uh, different deal. Uh, for Gary Player to go ahead and become aggressive with a steel-shafted iron was one thing, but for Gene Sarazen to, to be as aggressive as he was playing with hickory-shafted clubs was, was kind of unique because most of the players of his day were, uh, were much more long and flowing with a kind of rhythm that was required to time those shafts. Uh, but he managed to make it work. He's the man that invented the, the, the wedge we all use in the sand now by putting the flange on the bottom of the club. Uh, the old story goes he was in an airplane and he felt as they pulled the rudder back how his rear end went down and the plane went up. And he got to thinking about, well, maybe I can incorporate this into a golf club. And he went and welded a bunch of uh, lead and stuff on the bottom of the sand wedge. And he actually created the sand wedge. And that was the man's desire to play better that he went out, realized his limitations in a certain area, and built a damn new golf club to help him succeed in an area that he considered to be a weakness. In the films that I've watched, I've felt that he was very firm with his left hand in everything that he did. In all his little chip shots, all his little pitch shots, even his bunker play, he was pretty firm with his left hand. And I really liked the way he carried that through his whole short game and created uh, shots around his strength. And I think that was one of his strengths. And I think that came from that shorter swing where he was used to putting a lot of force in there, we had to have a strong left side to do it. His putting stroke, of course, was, was conditioned by the condition of the greens in those days. You had to hit the ball in a way that it was going to hold its line over a relatively rough surface. And it was strike. And, and I would say he stopped his putt ahead a matter of a couple of inches after he hit the ball there. Not so much stroke as bump. So I think, again, as always, the conditions nearly always determine how people go about it. I think that uh, Sarazen was once again a complete player. He did every aspect of his game was good. And I think that's the one thing we noticed in all these champions we're talking about. They didn't really have a weakness. Uh, and if they had a weakness, they overcame it by practice. Wonderful temperament. When he had a chance to win, he won. I mean, we hear an awful lot about him holding his second at Augusta at the, at the 15th, but I mean, winning our Open and so on. He was a great, great player and, and uh, a wonderful character, absolute gentleman.